Hey Wolfpack, Angela Wolf here and welcome to Behind the Scenes. And it's really behind the scenes today because I'm, fingers crossed, we don't lose our internet. It is storming like a crazy man out there. And I'm waiting for the mailman. So two things might happen during the live show. <laughs> hopefully we have our internet and hopefully the mailman waits till after it quits raining or everybody's packages are gonna be soaked. So that's what today is. Now, by the way, this is what we're working on today. Remember this project? Oh yeah, so I finished the front panel and now I have an idea for pockets and I thought we would share it live. So say hi, say where you're from. I will be right back. hear that rain it is crazy out there and i just know the mailman's gonna get here right when it's pouring and i'm just gonna take you outside with me to help him carry all this stuff into the vehicle oh my goodness gracious so welcome everyone nice to see you nice to see you so before we get sewing a couple announcements in case you missed last week's newsletter yes the jeans class is available the, this is how it works the classroom is open meaning that when it's open, you can find the supplies, you can uh, download your pattern, the pattern's included in it. It's a new skinny jean pattern. And then there's a whole list of when the live events are, okay? So those start next week. And some of you are ordering fabrics, that's event number two. There's one fabric that I ran out of and it's a light blue denim. It's a beautiful fabric. It's one that I'm gonna be using in the show uh, for most of it. I can do distressing. It's a cotton blend with some stretch. Uh, I have another bolt coming and it will be here on Monday. And so I have a team set up to get everything shipped out on Tuesday so you won't delay in the class. So how the class works is there's gonna be live sessions. The live sessions will be recorded and they'll be in the classroom. So you can really join or watch anytime. Once you're in the class, the class never ends. So, well it ends, but you can watch the replay as long as my academy is up. I'd say forever, but we never know when forever is. So that's how that works. And there's discounts to different fabrics and stuff once you're in there, if there's something that you're looking for. So if you have any questions, holler. And many of you, which I was surprised, I thought a lot of you would just download the PDF, but many of you wanted the pattern rolled and put in the beautiful tubes. So there's a whole stack going out. Uh, if I get the order before four today, it will go out in today's mail. Otherwise, any orders from 4 p.m. today, through Monday, we'll all ship out on Tuesday. We've got a fabric and trim show to go to. So that's how that's gonna work. All right, if you have any questions, holler. And yes, my top, this is gonna be, uh, I'm working on some new cutouts for our fashion sewing club. We've been doing different necklines and, and I've received about five emails with everyone that wants to learn how to do cool cutouts. So I've got a few tips for you. That's what we're doing next month in the fashion sewing club. All right, oh, I see a couple questions before we go sew the skirt. Uh, do you answer questions during the class? Yes, and I do. So the classes are, there's nine hours of lessons and it's all listed on the website. So if you go to uh, AngelaWolf.com and click on Academy, that's where the class is. You can see the whole schedule. It, I, um, I'm using the platform that we use for Fashion Sewing Club. So you can go in in advance and leave a question, which is kind of cool. So if you can't make the live show, you can still leave a question in there. And I answer questions at the end. So I'm gonna do teaching, just like you're gonna watch teaching. And then there'll be a brief break, like five minutes, if that even, uh, just to get quick tea, cause it's an hour and a half, each one's an hour and a half. And then I will answer questions. That way, when you're going back to watch the replay, you can watch the entire lesson. You don't have to watch the Q and A if you don't want to. So that's how it'll be programmed. But all the replays, including the Q and A will be in there. And then the last two lessons are one hour and those are all QA, and I've got some extra, well, let's say jean pattern hacks, because I know a lot of you have asked how to insert elastic into a jean waistband for skinny jeans, so that will be one of the bonus lessons in the last, one of the last two days, and those two will be on Zoom, okay? Oh, thanks, Melody, thanks. Well, thanks, guys, I'm glad you like my top. It's really comfy, and actually, I was checking to see if I sewed it for real, and I did. <laughs> Sometimes I based it together, and I was just trying it on, and it was time for the live show. So let's hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> All right. Nope. That's not the mailman. 
All right, you remember that skirt from last week? So here was the panel. Well, I made three panels. Here was the panel. Have you been following along with the Quilt of Fashion, by the way? It's been really fun. Everybody's doing some crazy stuff, but unique fabrics is what I'm getting out of this. So I took the front panel of the skirt and I changed it up a little bit, which you can see right here. I added the insert and now a few of you, because I, I actually do go through and read all your messages on Wednesday evenings after our live show. A few or actually many of you said, why don't you do something cool for pockets or do a back yoke or something like that with the rest of this fabric? I've already quilted it, right? So I thought that I would go and do a little bit of both. However much fabric I have is what we're going to get out of this. But I wasn't sure about the back yoke. I don't really want a lot of attention on my tush. So I'm going to focus on the front with some cool pockets. So let's go take a look and we'll get started there. And you're going to have to excuse my allergies today. Tis the season for allergies for me. <laughs> and I think everyone around me, but that's okay. All right, so this is what we have. This is what I ended up with. I sewed this uh, earlier. So I sewed the seam. I surged it. And this is the panel that I have left. Kind of cool. So it's not totally straight up and down. And then what I did is I laid the skirt. I folded this in half, laid the skirt, and cut out my skirt pattern. Because now I could trim some off the sides because I added this whole center panel. Now, one thing I notice is if I'm wearing this, see how this pulls open? This right here. So I'm going to go back here and I will probably do a nice top stitching or something to keep that down so this doesn't flip open because that will drive me crazy. All right, what about pockets? So this is my idea and you can all pitch in if you want. <laughs> but I was thinking, well, actually, let's go to the dress form. I think you'll get a better idea there. So I was thinking that if we had uh, the skirt, you can see it from there, right? A lot of you talked about pockets, and I was thinking, you know, that would be kind of cute. So if I trimmed out some pockets right here on both sides and put this quilting in the back, so it'll kind of be like a little panel right here, I could run that panel all the way to the back side. So I, this is what I'm thinking. If I have enough, I will take this. I'm going to add pockets to the side. And then on the back side of the skirt, I might continue that up. So it's not really a yoke, but it's kind of a curve. Some decoration to tie the back into the front and all of those things. Make sense? All right, so let's go take a look. <laughs> I love that, Marion. Let the real skinny people add the back yoke. Yep, there you go. Well, the back, I'm gonna add very similar to the front. So I'm gonna fold this in half. And I'm just going to design the pattern right here with you. That way, if you decide you're going to follow along, you'll know how to do this. All right. So if this is my center front, my hand would go in my pocket right here. And I'm just going to cut this on a nice curve. Okay. So that's the front. Now, while I have the front, I'm going to grab the back, which I just had here. Here we go. Now, this is the Kate skirt, so it has a side pocket, not a center back. So if this is the back, what I was thinking is having this with one nice piping go all the way around to the back. So this will be just kind of a curve in the back. Just something little. I could have it even go a little bit further over, uh, anything like that. Let's see. Maybe I'll have it go, well, how big is my panel here? I guess that will really determine how much room I have. If I go to here, that will give me enough for two panels. Well, this is the gray one. I could use the gray or the black. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so this is going to be the front. And then this is going to come around the back and end right here. I think that'll be kind of a cool looking thing in the back. Now, if I'm going to add seam allowances, I have to keep that in mind as well because I can't just cut these as two pattern pieces if I cut this off. I'm going to have to add a seam allowance somewhere. So why don't we add a seam allowance right here? 
So we have that on the pattern. And now I need to create my pocket. So I'm gonna cut along this line. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. <laughs> Notice the little footmarks on here. Whenever I have paper laying around that I'm not using, or this one was actually on the floor protecting some fabric, I keep it because it works great for pattern paper. All right, now I need to trace this. I'm actually just gonna cut it out. That's easier. With paper scissors. And if anybody hears the mailman while I'm here, just holler at me, okay? So I can go out and make sure that they have an extra bin or they're going to just probably have a heart attack when they see all those pattern rolls. They're going to think I'm an architect. <laughs> okay. So that... All I copied right now, this is just general. I'm going to finish this pattern in a minute, but that gives me a guide. There's my front, there's my back, and let's do it for this side too. I'm just gonna cut some of this off. I don't need the whole thing. All right, now we're not, I haven't made the pattern yet, so don't be like, what in the heck? That's not gonna work. Just bear with me here. Okay, so this is my center front. I won't be using the piece, but I'm just marking this. This is my back. Let's see if I can get a darker ruler. There you go, back. And let's see, this is, so this is my grain line, parallel, basically parallel to this line here. I want it to be pretty exact, so I don't want to just guess on this. Why don't we use this as a guide? Grain line. Top. side seam. Now this already has seam allowances in it because I'm copying the actual fabric. So this is top, side, front, and let's see if I can line up a grain line on this, which will be, it's right, once I have this like just right, the grain line is parallel to the center front here. Hold that there, lift this up. And I gave myself a nice purple Sharpie on my top. You won't be able to see it, I'll wash it off. I'm gonna be cutting that part off anyways, right? Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I need to mark, this is gonna be my pocket. I'm not gonna keep all of this, but for now, I'm gonna keep this together. Now I have an option. I could tape these sides together and then use this as a pocket that when I sew my skirt together, where it's a panel that's right in there. That would be a really cool option, by the way. So let me just make sure my side seams match up. They do. And I have a half a seam allowance, half inch seam allowance on my pattern. For those of you that are new to my patterns, they're always half inch seam allowance unless it's something crazy like an inseam on jeans that you need to have like an inch to make sure you have good top stitching. And then this side. I can see some of your comments. By the way, yes, you're right. If I was doing this by myself and not trying to do it live to give you a tutorial, I would literally just cut my patterns and work, make this work. I wouldn't be making pattern pieces, but how are you gonna follow along if I don't at least explain it, right? All right, so if I tape this together and this is my side seam, I can make one panel that will be inserted inside of here. 
Now, how long do you want your pockets to be? We need to finish designing our pockets. So if this is my front, I want my pocket to go at least to put my phone in it. I, so at least that long and not fall out. So why don't I go even longer? How about right here? However long I do that pocket there, I'm gonna do the same thing for the back. Actually, I don't have enough in the back. Let me see how much I can get away with just this. Hold it on a second. Yeah, if I go to right here, that'll be long enough. So let me just make these even at the bottom. So this is the bottom of my pocket. Oh, thanks, Melody. So I'll bring this back down. I guess you didn't see any of that, did you? All right, so here's my front, here's my back. I wanna make sure that these are about equal, which they are, I'll measure for sure in a second. Now, if this is my whole front pocket, this kind of goes over a little bit too far into this section, that's gonna to be too much fabric. And this is gonna be long enough for my phone, which is fine. So let's make this just a little shallower. So there's a pocket and this doesn't need to go quite this far. That's a lot for the back. I want it to go past this section here. Okay, so this is gonna be my pocket. Why do I have these markings here? That's my seam allowance. If I put this on top of each other and tape it, then I've removed the seam allowance and I can cut one panel, one panel for the inside pocket there. And I don't have any tape right here, so I'm just gonna pin these together. So I'm pinning right along each seam allowance. Okay. So I'm going to cut this open and this is going to be my panel that goes inside of it. Now this whole section doesn't need to be uh, all quilted fabric. The only quilted fabric needs to be right here where the opening is. So I'll cut this. I think you'll see it a little bit better. Here's the back, I can't change my mind now. There's a hole. And that's a half inch seam allowance there. And then, right there. Now, the panel that I'm gonna have inside, let's see, it's gonna be like this. Let's just say that this was sewn together and let's decide if we want the gray or the black. So this is my side seam, remember. And I wanna choose a part of my quilted block that I can see. Now that's kind of cool for a side, for a pocket. I could also do it maybe a little bit on the bias. Let's see what we got here if I go. That's not bad. And then if this was sewn together, this would be the entire pocket section. I almost wonder if I should make one panel that's a little bit smaller, but let's see what the gray looks like. gray might stand out just a little bit more. If I sew that down and sew this here, this is what you would see. That's kind of cool. So that would be my side panel. 
And this is where I can put my hand in my pocket or maybe just have a little bit of a back pocket too. I don't know what I'd use it for. And that would be that side seam. So I need to do a few more things before I decide, before I cut that out. So this will be the base that I cut. It doesn't all have to be the quilting. I could have just part quilting and add some lining to it. But I also need my pocket piece that's going to attach here and go inside. So that piece is going to look like, I'm going to unpin these. It's just as easy to draw it right on this here. All right, line that up. Now that's not going to be my cut line. Remember, we have seam allowances. So this is actually the half inch mark to go to match this pocket. I'm just tracing this first as a guide. Then I mark half inch down, which is actually this line here. So my cut line is going to be half inch or however much you want to have a seam allowance for your pocket. Sometimes you can use a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. So for my pocket lining, let's just follow here. I drew this here because this is where this is all going to be cut out of quilted fabric. And then for the piece that's going to sew on here, actually, I just did that backwards. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. So this line right here is going to be the cut line for my pocket lining. So ignore this one down here. So now if I cut this here and this bottom part here is the lining, when I go to sew this together, I can sew it together, tuck it inside. I just gave myself one too many seam allowances. In case you were following that and you're like, what in the world did you just do? Okay, now I've lined this up. And so that means my cut line for my lining will be right here. This line right here is the one I drew on the other one. That will be my finished pocket line. All right, so this will be the cut line and this outside line here will be the cut line. Ignore both of those. A lot going on there, right? Now for the lining, if you're gonna cut one panel of this here, you can cut one panel of lining. But if I do that, then what I'm gonna need to do is sew, my, sew together my side seams before I put that side panel in. I'd have to sew this together first and then make that one big pocket. But can you tell me what the problem is? Because there's a big one. How am I gonna get in the skirt? So for the left side of my skirt, or if you decide to have your zipper on your right side, one side is going to have to be separate where it has a seam. So however you decide to do that, if you don't want to do that, then make sure you add some extra fabric to the center back seam and put a zipper in there. So when I do this, I'm going to have to get really creative for the side with the zipper, get very creative of what, what part is going to show here for the pocket. Like for example, let's just say that's my front pocket. That looks kind of cool, but I want to make sure that it matches the back. So just be very careful how you place this and do it both the same on both sides. Not that anyone can see the both sides of your skirt at the same time, but they can. All right, let me check if the mailman, I just heard a... Nope. False alarm. <laughs> All right. Do you have any questions on this? Because that's a big deal. Now, I'm thinking of doing the inside lining crazy, like something pinker, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, you can do a back zipper, Betty. And if I do a back zipper, now I've already cut my skirt, so I don't have a center back seam. If I decide to add an invisible zipper to the center back, I might have to add a panel of extra fabrics. I don't have a seam allowance back there. Do you know what I mean? Now, if you decide you're using the Kate skirt, you want to have a center back zipper, then just Instead of cutting that center back on the fold, add a seam allowance. Susan, how about moving the zipper to the center back? Yeah, all of you guys are thinking the same thing, which would work, but I've already cut the fabric, so I have to make a workaround. So for you guys who haven't cut it yet, you're fine. All right, let me see if you have any questions for me. I saw somebody asking about the jeans pattern. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> oh, I agree. 
I don't want biohazard on my tush, Susan. I just don't want that. <laughs> you guys are thinking that the gray one looks nice. <laughs> it does look like a coin pocket. <laughs> hey, Karina. Yeah, Marianne, it's going to be one huge pocket. But what I will probably do is cut and um, put a tack like right down the side seam so it's not a huge pocket because you know what will happen. It'll flap away from you, and I don't want that. Uh, and the back could be an actual working pocket or, or another idea that I had. And this is a totally different idea. And I'll go show you real quick, just so you guys can see. I had two ideas, of course, as I'm designing this. The other idea was to have something for the front pocket. So I'm just going to place this here just to kind of give you an idea. Let's just say this is my front, the front of my skirt. Let's just say I finished it like that. Something different, right? And my other idea was for the back panel uh, and, and this edge right here. I think I have a piece of fabric here to just show you. I'm just going to use this salvage piece. Uh, but a piece of gray fabric, if, was, if it was a piping similar to this right here, and put the piping all the way across. And in the back, just use a solid black. So if I did that, then it would look kind of like this. So you'd have piping all the way around. Uh, um, and then either have the quilted here or just have all black for the pocket. In case you don't want more width on the hips go like this, do the pocket in black, and then just have a really cool gray piping around here, which would kind of tie this in with that. Or maybe do that and just have one panel of the quilt on there, or maybe just one panel like this. I'll cover this up so you can see from a distance. There you go. So if this was the bias, and of course, this is a salvage, but I'm just giving you a visual. And then I did this as the side pocket. Uh, that wouldn't be bad either. I don't know. I'll keep playing with it, but that's my initial. I have to add the pockets now. I already cut them. And it's going to be an awfully cute skirt, whatever I do. But <laughs> if I don't say so myself. But I don't know how much quilting I want to add. Okay, any more questions for me on this project or the jeans? Oh, thanks, Jen. Thanks, Melody, for letting me know about that, too. That's why I love having my phone on my watch. Hey, Virginia. Oh, if you would like my patterns, you can uh, go to AngelaWolf.com. I think I have it right up here for you somewhere. Uh, it's just Angela Wolf. No um, E. <laughs> where the heck is my email? I had it on here for you. But that's where the patterns are. If you go there, you can find, uh, here it is, AngelaWolf.com. You can find the Angela Wolf Sewing Academy with all the online classes. That's where you'll find the jeans class and you'll find denim and all the other stuff that we're talking about. Oh, thanks, Pam. You know, when I was piecing together the black and white, I didn't like it either. I mean, I liked it, but it was definitely more crafty. <laughs> I might try that, Mary, but a little bit too late now. Good morning, Stacy. <laughs> oh, Jan, great to see you. Well, you look like you have your skip around backwards when looking at the back. That would be kind of funny, actually. Oh, thanks, Karen. Hope you're feeling better, by the way. So I'm with you, Anne. After I, I'm going to work on the front. I'm going to cut the pieces out, lay them together. And that's where I'm going to decide. I love the idea of the gray piping. 
And maybe I just add a really itsy bitsy mini quilt inside that area. I know there's a two inch one that Cindy downloaded and you got, you all can get that for free, by the way, for free. Yeah. All right. Oh, Arnell, did it work? Let's keep our fingers crossed that it worked. If not, I was actually, I was trying to think last night if I had any other ideas for you for that rolly fabric. And I don't. <laughs> oh, you guys asking about my top here? Uh, this is the Rouge Tee with the pattern hack with the, um, so this panel goes all the way into the shoulder here and all the way down. I know I was just playing with this one. It was just a fun one. I still have a pin in it, so I have to be careful. And no, I've not hemmed my sleeves. <laughs> that would be way too much, way too much. So Jody, this is going to be a pattern hack that we do in Fashion Sewing Club. I'm trying to just play with different designs. And I do still have this fabric on the app. If you go to the Angela Wolf app, I think it's called Apple Fabric. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it is pouring outside. It sounds like a monsoon. I hope the mailman waits until after. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to be out there with an umbrella covering all your packages. So go to the app, Angela Wolf app. And when you go there, it's called um, it was in our last sale. It might even still be on sale if, unless I took it down. No, it's called Red Apple. Red Apple Mirage. See? All right. Elizabeth, that I might do that. Just have the panel. It doesn't have to have a pocket in the back. I do too, Janet. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Oh, Peg, totally off topic. I have a beautiful mohair sweater in it. The serge seams tend to roll. What can I do with it? So are your serge seams, where are they, Peg? Like inside or on the edges? Kind of like what Arnell had yesterday. Was it inside? I would top stitch them probably or add a cover stitch or something like that to it. That would be my choice. <laughs> Stacy, that's awesome. I agree. I'll hem this one later before I wear it out, but that's why I make them longer. Then I can tuck it in. You never know. <laughs> oh yeah, Jody. It's on, it's on its way. Oh, Mary, you know what? I, you're like the fifth person that mentioned that. I'll have to think, you know, I'll have to put that on the docket after the jeans class. All right, I see it, guys. <laughs> shoulder and neck. Okay, so Peg, if your seam is rolling in your shoulder and neck, I would top stitch it down. Or if it's mohair, you might be able to hand stitch it lightly and your stitches will kind of blend in with the mohair. Hey, Cynthia. All right, everyone. I know it's a short day, but I'm trying to get all the shipping out before the uh, Miami... Um, fabric and trim show. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go work on my skirt a little bit. I don't think I'm, I'm not bringing it to Florida with me. I don't think I need it. I'll wait for next week, <laughs> but I'll go back and read your votes. And if you guys have any questions, the jeans class is open. If you want to join it, go to AngelaWolf.com. You can click right on the link and we'll be working on this top next week in Fashion Sewing Club if you want to join us there. So if you have questions, I will read this through tonight and tomorrow on the plane. So if you have any questions, holler. In the meantime, I better go finish sewing this so I don't walk out with a bunch of pins. <laughs> I agree, and so many ideas. You're welcome. Great to see you all, and have a good day. And by the way, Fashion Sewing Club, our Zoom yesterday, uh, it had a glitch while it was uploading the um, recording, so it should be up by this evening, in case you were looking today and you couldn't find it. Okay? All right, see you tomorrow. Have a great day. I, I'll, I'll go back. I can see some of your questions now. I'll go back and check these, though. 
Bye, everyone.